Hey there everybody, thanks for joining me for another one man review. This is going to be a real quick one because this is a short little self-published uh, risograph book by Raul Higuera called Para Noir. This definitely seems like the first issue of something ongoing even though it doesn't say number one on it. But basically what it is is it's uh, two de police detectives who are, uh, this one is a werewolf and this one is a vampire and they're investigating the murder of a guy with a pumpkin head that got smashed in. Um, so I just wanted to show some of the art. This is called Pumpkin Dispatch. Uh, like with the risograph, I always like the purity of the colors and the, the weird tactility of the, the surface, the like speckly surface. I think that um, Rao is using this really, really well. I really like this like carved out whites here and stylistically just the, the weird distortions and focus on shape and color and things like that. Um, and just some fun little formalisms too, like this character who's got four arms and four eyes also seems to, even though it only has one mouth, there's a lettering thing. You found anything, so you found anything, and you basically get like this character has two voices. And just again, I, I really like the, the abstraction and the shapes of this character, the stylization of everything. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's a short little comic, so I don't get too great of a sense of like how much I'll enjoy the world or the story that's being built. But I really, really enjoy the art. I really enjoy these kind of like, uh, looks like a wash or something like that that's been dragged. Again, you know, some of these formal things here going on. The cartooning's really great. The shapes are great. So really enjoy this. I hope there's more of these because it ends on kind of a cliffhanger. I don't think this story is done yet. And I will definitely pick up any future episodes of this that come out. So if you can get a hold of one, uh, where did I get this from? I got this from Strangers Fanzine Publishing, but they also have a web shop, and so I got this from them. So head over to Strangers Fanzine and get yourself a copy of this. Support Raul Huguera, and hopefully we'll get a, uh, more of these. Hopefully a whole world will build out of this. If you enjoy what we're doing here on the channel, there's two ways to support us. First one is through our Patreon. There's two different tiers of interaction there. All of the money that we get from that helps us buy the comics we review. And then if you want to support Living the Line, the best thing to do is to buy one of the books that Sean's putting out through Living the Line Publishing. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one of those projects now. The Exile by Eric Creek is a gorgeously illustrated Viking saga of revenge. Eric Creek calls it his Viking Western. It's about a, a guy who's been away on the, the war path and is returning home um, to a, some family troubles that have to be resolved. And this is told in just this amazing, like, kind of three-color art style that looks like old woodblock cuts or something. It's absolutely gorgeous book that you've got to pick up. Thanks for following along. Take it away, Jack. You want to see all these books? Smash! 